Hello guys, welcome back with another video, another build. Uh, please hit subscribe, like, share, and comments. Uh, leave your comments, uh, questions in the comments, so that we can get, oh, I can get to you as soon as I can. Uh, today is gonna be a, today is gonna be a dual wheel dagger build. Um, we're gonna really look into uh, the gears right now. Please check the timestamps on the comments so that you guys can get the uh, the timestamps of each section so you can go over or have any questions. Charms. So the charms we want are uh, Barrio Caster, uh, Capri, and Elisa, okay? Not Lil. Just keep that in mind. Again, you're gonna need Barrio Caster uh, and Capri and Elisa, okay? Capri and Elisa. I've converted the skill to element so I can use four blessing. Um, and then take a look at La Crema. And then we look into the uh, Zodiac. Took here, 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 here. I take here. And then here. And then two wheeled. Then here, 5-5, five, five, that's 10%. Do wheel there. Right there. And then right here, more area effect. And then take this to for fire specialize. More area effect. Okay. Then we go into relics. Sapdar, caster, more area damage, and Capri. Mario for HP. Mastery. One, two, three. Alchemy. All the potions. To the last potion. And then now skill breakdown. Today's skill we'll be looking into is cross slash. Uh, <clears throat> it has no fire. The skill tags are melee, physical, and uh, area effects. So you can only have three blessing. Um, it is a physical skill to begin with. So the skill is pretty much uh, area effect based. Uh, you gain a lot of attack speed based off uh, off the bat. Uh, then you have uh, physical damage. The initial cost slash does damage, and then uh, does a sub substantial uh, substantial uh, quint, uh, cross slash another additional hit, um, basically. And then you have a ten percent to triple maximize damage on hit. Uh, and then at le a legend, you get also another three percent. That's thirteen percent. And it add plus two uh, strike range count. So the skill itself, uh, without legend, it will be three. If you legend, it, it adds two more, so that's five. Okay. Keep that in mind. But we are gonna convert it to fire, so we can get the Capri. So instead of just um, Boreal Homal Alisa, you can get Capri as well. Okay. And then there's that. The awaken you want. For this uh, you would go 
you would lower the the count of strike uh, from five to three, but you gain ten percent damage, and but your range gets bigger, farther away. Um, so source is the best for damage. Uh, though find weakness is great if you're not cap on crit rate. Okay, that's a flat number of crit rate. So. And then you get extra percent, so that's big. That's very big. Uh, Verity is not very good since you need enemy at 20% or less HP, you get 25% damage. And so, um, this f origin or source, either one is pretty good. Okay, and uh, the runes real quick harmony, convert fire, warrior shadow, fighting spirit, uh, strike. Mana Storm. Uh, you can take out Strike and put in the uh, concentrated area, um, but it reduces your area uh, your area effect a lot. Um, so you can test that out if you like. Uh, so there's that. We can test that out right now, so you can see. Uh, and then so crit so domain United Crow. Dampen resource, penetration slash for movement, uh, seal condensed element source to become buff, fighter's wrath for more attack speed, counter attack for um, energy, for earth energy, and then illusion axe, convert fire for fire energy, and then uh, electric area for the debuff, and some uh, energy extraction, okay? So there's that right there. Let's make sure we got everything equipped. All right, so uh, we gonna go and see some maps runs. Make sure I got everything on. So that's how the skill work. War Shadow summon extra five, so you can clear pretty quickly. Map is level 145. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the uh, comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, again, please leave a like, share, comments if you like what I've been dropping. Um, so... So the range is at um, 900. It was at 1200 before. Oh, uh, 900. It was at 1200 earlier. Um, I took out the. Uh, I put in the concentrated area effect. Um, so you can see that it get reduced in. Uh, so again, if you want to farm faster, uh, then you use the area effect. If you want to do more damage, then add in concentrated error damage. Okay. Uh, this way, this way. So now, so now we can see. We can see uh, the difference. So now this is at a thousand. Uh, if I were to put in error effect, um, this will be at twelve hundred. Okay. So I'm gonna check that right now. Thirteen hundred, okay. So you can go, you can, you can attack from more further away without getting hit. Uh, so it can become like a range skill almost. Your warrior shadow is already copying your damage and attack, so I feel like range would be pretty good.
range will be pretty good um, since you can just attack from far away and things can die before it comes to you um, you can do that as well You can see um, a few type of damage that was on the screen. Uh, you see a like a white damage. Those are like dots or uh, non-critical. Uh, and then you see the yellow, which are the critical. And you see like a darker uh, yellow color, more like a tan color, uh, deeper yellow color. Those are the double and then double and then uh, triple maximized damage uh, triple maximized damage so again uh, the more the more chance to um, maximize damage um, the better your damage will be for crit build as well so I'm glad they added the uh So if you awaken uh, the skill source you take the increased range uh, but you can only have three instead of five uh, strike um, But you get 10% damage amp uh, it it's it's like a trade-off um, it'll be more concentrated you see how in front of me the cross cross slash has a wider sh uh, range um, and then further away it gets smaller so that's the the range is gonna be affected uh, with the awaken so that's something you guys can keep in mind and, and when you awaken Uh, another thing to keep in mind is Warrior Shadow uh, range is only 700 uh, uh, air, um, within 700 distance. Okay, um, so as if a monsters are far away, uh, Warrior Shadow is not going to proc. Uh, you have to be in between 700 distance, around 700, then. Or shadow which just comes out in prop and for the awaken on warrior shadow uh, you want the uh, strike and air effect um, boost awakening so that so that um so that skills that that, that used area effect would be great uh, a boost and utility to the skill those bottomless abyss abyssals are really strong they're the new they're from uh, co confrontation times where you put mist in and then a dungeon spawns in the beginning of the map when you first spawns in those give you the crema uh, so you can farm there like that it's random or you use the mist um, item to open the, the, the gate
Alright guys, that's the bill. Give it a try, let me know what you think. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys' support lately. Um, give it give it a go and tell me what you guys think. I'll be dropping uh, more videos soon. Uh, catch you guys in a bit.